Hi guys, in the first video earlier, well in previous video I should have said, uh, we looked at multiplying a difference of two squares. So by now we should be familiar, <coughs> sorry, with what a difference of two squares, what a difference of two square means. Now just a quick refresher of course, we said that if we had, let's say for example, A and B in one bracket, that's what a square means. A square means something is multiplying itself, okay? That's what this word means, square, that something is multiplying itself. However, difference means to subtract, so we would say put a minus inside one bracket and put a plus in the other. So now we're basically saying a times a, we're using this a to multiply a, so we would get a square. And then we're saying a times this b, so that would gives us a positive a b. And then a negative b times a positive a would give us a negative a b. And then b t negative b times positive b will give us a negative b square. Now, if you notice what's happening, the middle terms would cancel out. So positive a b will cancel out with negative a b. So therefore, I'm left with, okay, let me just put my sign. This implies, so therefore, I am now left with, a square a square minus b square now when we are factorizing a difference of two squares this is what we mean okay look this is a difference of two squares a square term here and it's being subtracted by another square term so let me split my screen so when we expand or when we multiply two squared the difference of two squares when we expand the brackets we get a difference of two squares to now factorize and this is the word that we're focusing on now factorizing a difference of two squares so in the exam you may be given a question such as factorize factorize completely okay and in this case we're looking at a difference of two squares so you can be given let's say a square minus b square to factorize now when factorizing a difference of two squares by intuition it would be in this form so it's as if I'm taking the square root of a square and you know that the square root of a square would be a square sorry would be a so I am opening my bracket so I'm putting a there then I'm going to put my, my negative sign there and it's as if I'm finding the square root of b square and I'm going to say the square root of b square is b close my bracket and in the next bracket I would put back the same thing and however I would change the negative sign in the next bracket to a positive sign so when asked to factorize a difference of two squares we would get back our bracket same thing in both but the only difference is that in one bracket you have a negative sign and in the other there is a positive sign so that would be my answer okay so that's example number one in example number two again you can be asked to find the difference of two squares. So this really is the general form. I'm going to change it up a bit. You could be asked in the exam to factorize 4y squared minus 9. And again, this is pretty easy. Okay, uh, I am looking at this term here and is as if I'm going to find the square root. Since I'm dealing with a difference of two squares, I'm going to find the square root of this term. So I'm going to open a bracket and I'm going to say, what is the square root of four? The square root of four is two. The square root of y square is also y. I'm going to put back my negative sign and then I'm saying the square root of nine is three. And then I'm closing my bracket because I'm through with that. And now since it's a square term, a difference of two squared, it means that the same thing must be inside the next bracket. Okay. But in this case, I'm going to change my negative sign to a 
positive sign and and that's my answer that's how we factorize a difference of two squares okay uh, let me work another question we have time for another question okay okay so let me pull that up there so in question number three question number three we have let's say we had k square m square minus one okay now again if you notice at the front here all the terms are square terms and it's separated by a minus sign and when you look here this term that we have here is also a square term okay because one multiplied by one is also a, a square term so again all I'm doing is that the first term that is here k square m square I am going to find the square root of that so the square root of k square k square would be k and the square root of m square would be m and I am going to put back my negative sign and the square root of 1 is also 1 and the same thing I have in that bracket um, again I'm going to rewrite it in this bracket but the only thing I'm going to change my sign and in factorizing a difference of two squares that would be my answer okay and it's that easy uh, I'm going to pick up and work a few more videos a few more uh, problems in the next video okay but if you have any comments feel free to ask bye bye